Hello, I'm Novella Froman with the Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service, Pike County Office. And I'm Carol Thompson, a 4-H Program Assistant. And today, we're going to show you how to make these beautiful bulbs using several materials that we have for kits here in the Pike County Extension Office. So, what do we need to make our ornaments? Well, Carol, I'm going to let you start out with the gold one. What are the things you'll need? Uh, you need a bulb and ribbon and paint, a pencil, toothpick, decoupage, floor wax, and sponges. So, if I were to go over the materials for this one, it would be the same except we do not use floor wax. So, it's all the same and uh, so we're going to get started. So, this is called the Starry Night Bulb uh, Challenge. And what we're gonna do first is we're going to pour our blue paint into the bulb. Okay, and then we're going to twirl it. And you may get it on your hands, which is okay, cause guess what? This is acrylic paint and it will peel off. So that's the thing I like about using the paint. So while I'm doing that and twirling it and getting it covered, Carol's going to go over how to do the first step of making the glitter bulb. So I've already got the floor wax in here. So you take and you put your glitter down inside the bulb. And you start and you shake around and the uh, floor wax mixes with the glitter and it sticks to your bulb. So I want to tell you a funny story of what happened when we were doing the floor wax. We thought, well, why not put in glitter and floor wax and put a little bit of, of a blue background in the back? Well, it was a chemical reaction. You talk about science and these two had a chemical reaction and the stench was horrible. So we learned not to do that again. So we're gonna to continue to coat our bulbs and we'll be right back with the next step. All right, I've coated the inside of my bulb uh, with the, the blue paint. Now we have included a little cup for drainage <laughs> because the bulb is not getting a lot of air. It is probably gonna drain for a while. So just turn it upside down and you're ready to decorate the bottom part of your bulb. Now, how about you, Carol? How are you doing over there? Oh, well, I'm doing good. The same thing is we have a little cup and you set and drain the rest of the glitter and the uh, floor wax out, and then you can uh, just let decorate the outside. All right, so who would have thought that you could use a pencil, a lead, and a toothpick to decorate a bowl. Now, this is called uh, the art of Mandela. So what you do is you dip your pencil eraser inside and you space out your circles. Now you can come up with your own design. Um, I just like to do, uh, if you can see what I'm doing, I'm just gonna make little dots evenly spaced around. And if, if you run out of paint, uh, it's good to, to dot, dip in again and you let those dry. Let me get one more little dot and this is how it looks. All right. So now Carol, I don't think you have done the Mandela, have you? No, I have but not. But I think you can learn I... because that's the reason we're doing this demonstration. So you're gonna ditch your, get, put your uh, eraser on the inside Get some black paint. Now, and this time we're going to use black that goes with the gold. And you could use different color glitter or um, different color paint, but we just thought the black and gold really looked classy. Uh, hanging on, it will be classy on your Christmas tree. All right. So, so that. once that dries, you're going to go about halfway down. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when it comes to drying, I'm impatient. So I use the blow dryer sometimes to blow it dry. So 
but sometimes it can blow off some of your paint too if it gets too close. So I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna do some more around the middle of my bowl and just evenly space it. And Carol is doing the same with her. And we're gonna let that dry and come back and tell you the next step to decorating our bowl. So we have covered our bulb uh, with the large dots using a pencil eraser. And now we're going to use our pencil lead and uh, take it and connect these dots somehow together with the larger dots. You can make swirls, you can just make dots. And all you have to do, dab your pencil in there and just make little dots. And then if it starts, you can, and these are, I guess you consider these are medium sized dots. So you can, you want to get the one in the middle, middle, and then you space it out between the, that one in the middle. So you do that all around your bulb. And this is only, we're only on the bottom half. We've got a chance to do the top half a little bit later. So Carol, are you doing your pencil? I'm doing my pencil and making my medium sized dots here and connecting the bigger dots. Okay. So we're gonna do that, let it dry, and come back with another step. Okay. So, the next thing we're gonna do, and uh, by the way, while we were in break, our dots have dried. We're gonna take the pencil lead, and you're gonna dip it in your paint with Carol. It will be what color, Carol? Black. And black, and mine is white, which I did while we were on break with the pencil lead. So what I did is I used this pencil and I'm gonna show you on the top side to make larger dots and space them in between the larger ones. So I'm gonna turn this upside to right. Carol is putting on hers with the pencil. And now we're gonna do the same thing on the top of our bulb, around the shoulders. I guess you'd call that a shoulder. And you just space your dots using your pencil eraser. and it's you can see that one didn't have enough on it. You can go back over it. Another thing I've seen done, it's pretty interesting, is that you can uh, put a dot within a dot. So if you wanted like another color, you could put a smaller dot inside. But I did not think that that worked well because I really like this blue and white, almost looks like stars on our Christmas bulb. So as you can see, I've got none. Uh, you're getting there, so uh, we're going to. You'll need to turn yours upside down and work on the other side because the other, while well, the other one is drying. So I'm going to go ahead. I see the place right here, and we're going to now use our pencil lead, and we're going to make. Um, oh, we want to do um, our dots down, connecting all the larger dots. So using the pencil lead. So halfway in between, and then you do it space. Now, some people even like a little twirly design. Oops, got there, made a mistake. Uh, but you can always use um, just a simple dot. You don't have to be a fantastic artist to get this done. So we're gonna fill those in, and you got yours drying, Carol? I've got mine drying. And uh, when this is dry, we're gonna tell you the, uh, the next step in making our ornaments, finest starry, starry night, and yours is? Just a pretty decoration. Oh, it's a crystal. It's a it's crystal. It's a golden bulb that we will be decorating our Christmas tree. All right, so we have used our uh, pencil lead and decorated our bulbs. And how's yours looking, Carol? And mine's looking good. My right. golden globe, my golden orb. orb. There you go. Uh, and that's a challenge because uh, I think you all can do this, though. This is a lot, really easy. So we've got that, and you're wondering, why do I have this toothpick? Do you know why we have the toothpick? I don't know why we have the toothpick. Because little tiny dots can be added. Ah. And mine's got a lot of space. I mean, you notice that? And you can make twirls or a circle, but use that to make little dots. 
Make sure you dip it and then keep them as uniform. I'm gonna make the dots on to fill in the spaces that were left when we did the, the big dots and the large dots. And it makes a really nice design. So what did I say this was at the first? Do you remember, Carol? Yours is a starry night. Okay. And yours is the golden orb, but what is this process called? Uh, remember? I don't remember. Mandela. Mandela. Mm -hmm. So it is an art of using dots to, uh, of, to make a, a decorative object. So now I've got my dots and I've put in the tiny ones, the medium size and the large ones. We're gonna let that dry and Carol's still working on hers and then come back and we're going to show you how to make it nice and shiny and to make sure that the paint stays on there. All right, so we have um, decorated our, um, our ball. We have put it on the decoupage to make it shiny. I do want to point out that this will dry out really fast, so you need to put a lid on it um, and save it for other crafting projects. So, uh, and make sure that you wash out your sponge because that will dry and pretty much destroy it. And that can be used for a lot of other uh, objects. So, we're going to put our top cap back on it. I did want to show you an idea for a different color combination. This is using uh, red, and I think it's very pretty. You can add a few more of the different size dots, and it can be very attractive too. So we're gonna put our cap back on, and then we're going to, uh, and, and these are a little bit flimsy, so they're a little bit hard to get on. There we go. This one is not wanting to cooperate. Did you get yours on? I got mine on. Well. So, and then we have a ribbon included in the kits that we have, and that's where the ribbon will go. And it goes in the hook. And all you have to do is just tie a knot. You don't have to even have a fancy bow because you're gonna be looking at the ball more than you are at the, the ribbon that's on there. a little knot and I'm gonna work on getting the cap put on there because those are have bent in and there we go and so Carol you've got your ribbon your little ornament I I've do. got mine and I'm gonna tell you something Carol with 4-H what do we do we make the best better we make the best better so get on our Facebook page or even on our YouTube channel to find out how to make this ornament.